Hey guys, uh, just doing a quick video showing you guys uh, how you can use your laser cutter to laser weld. This is more of an experiment to see if it can be done, but uh, we're, we're trying to dial it in to see if we can uh, use it for a part. First off, you're going to need to go to layer and you go to your global parameters. And you need to check this little box, it's disable follow. What that's going to do is it's going to keep the uh, cutting head all the way at the top. That way um, the laser will intentionally be out of focus. That way it's going to hit a wider area. Uh, I'm using layer 1 in this case. My cut speed, or weld speed, whatever you want to call it, is 0.75 meters per minute. Lift height, cut height, none of these really matter. They don't do anything. Cut current, 100%. Cut power, 100%. Uh, cut frequency doesn't matter in this case. Um, this is a 500 watt machine. I don't think you can do this with anything less than a 500 watt. Uh, we're using oxygen, which is not good for cutting. Uh, it will no, it's good for cutting, not good for welding. Oh, it's good for cutting. Yeah, I don't want to mix this to a Yeah, welding, it actually will put porosity in the weld. Uh, and we've got this kind of weevil wobble pattern where it, it's, it's going to oscillate back and forth uh, six times in 25 millimeters. Uh, total half millimeter this way, half millimeter that way. All the arcs are tangent. Uh, I'll show you that. I'll take it, tack it onto the end of the clip here when I uh, uh, go back and show you that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fire up. Notice the follow command does not follow the part. Puts a nice little wobble in there. I'm going to unclamp it. And I got a jig here that holds the part floating so that way it doesn't weld to something else. So there is the weld. Uh, it's a bit hot. Oh yeah, there's the back side of it. You see it did weld all the way through. I'm going to real quick clean it up just a little bit. so you can kind of get a better idea because right now it's covering oxide. This would probably look a lot better if I would used argon. Alright, so here's the top side of the weld. Here's the back side. So this side should be weaker, so I'm going to break away. So that way it's as weak as possible. And as you can see, the back side is not splitting open. It's not perfect. I mean... I don't know if it could get much better. The ends, of course, are missing because it's only 25 millimeters of weld and this is a 30 millimeter square. Um, but otherwise, I'm real happy with the result. The only drawback of welding with a cutter is there's no, there's no good way to line these up. You kind of have to guess and uh, do a lot of trial and error. A, a dedicated welder would be better, but uh, you know, if you want to save quite a bit of money, that could uh, this could be an option for you. Give it a try. Post in the comments below if you tried it and it worked or if you tried it and it didn't, let me know. Uh, you know, so that way we can kind of share some knowledge.